this small and expensive lamp is pretty common and could be pretty nice. It has a side outlet in case you need to charge your phone or a tablet. It is touch control with a low, medium, and high and off mode. We get a lot of questions about these touch controls and we sell them. We have an on off version or um, a variable version like this that is a low, medium, high, and off. Um, it is item number 40123. Here's what it looks like. So I'm going to take this lamp apart and let you see how it works. First you want to make sure that your lamp is unplugged. Then we're going to take out the bulb. I don't want to break it. We're going to open up the lamp from the felt bottom. I'm going to be careful so I can reuse it. And now we're going to remove these three screws. With the three screws removed, we can remove this bottom plate. And here you can see the touch control switch. The touch control switch has four wires. The black wire connects to the smooth cord or the thin side of the plug. That's your hot wire. The white wire connects to the ribbed part of your cord or the wide blade on the plug. That's your neutral wire. The red wire from the touch control switch goes to the hot side of your socket. That would be the brass screw, this side. So your red wire connects to this side of your socket. The nickel screw terminal connects to the white wire of the switch. And then the green wire, green and yellow with the yellow stripe, connects to the body of the lamp. And that is what senses the touch to turn the socket on and off. If you're wiring a touch control switch, be very careful because these are very sensitive. If you connect your hot wire to the red wire, and short out the touch control switch, there's no recovery. Once it fails, there's no way to reset it.